You ever walk out into your lawn, look down and say, what the heck is that? You get down on the ground for a closer look and you find your whole lawn is full of this. Well then you, my friend, have lawn moss. You wanna know how to treat it and take control of it? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. So don't go anywhere. What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another video. I am the Lawn Daddy and this is Small Town Lawns, where I show you how to improve the overall look of your lawn. And on this channel, I'm going to show you lawn care tips that you can use to take your lawn and make it the talk of the neighborhood. So if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. Having moss in your lawn may not seem like a big deal. Most of the time you don't even see it. You only really notice it in the early spring and late fall when your lawn is really thinned out. But just like a bad weed, given the right circumstances, moss will continue to grow and before long it'll consume large sections of your lawn. So in today's video we're going to be talking about some different ways that you can treat and take control of the moss growing in your lawn. Also we're going to be talking about where the moss comes from, why it's growing in your lawn, and some steps that you can take to prevent it from coming back. Before we talk about how to treat and control the moss in your yard, first we need to ask ourselves, what is moss? The simple definition, all moss is, is a green flowerless plant that doesn't have a root system. That's why it always looks like it just sits on the surface and in small amounts, it's actually very easy to remove. No, no, wait a minute, time out. You're telling me that removing moss from my lawn is easy? Yes. All right, then answer me this question, lawn daddy. If moss is so easy to remove, why do I keep getting it in my lawn year after year? That, my friend, is the right question. Just sit back, watch this video, and I'll show you how to keep moss out of your lawn. You know what, Lawn Daddy? I will sit down and watch this video all the way through. In fact, everybody out in YouTube land, you should sit down and watch this video all the way through also, so Lawn Daddy can show us how to keep moss out of our lawns. So, now that we know what moss is, let's talk about how you get it in your lawn and why you get it in your lawn. First, let's start with why moss is growing in your lawn. A possibility for moss growing in your lawn is that there's an imbalance with your soil. You might not know it, but you may have acidic soil. The only real way to know is to do a soil test. And if you haven't done so already, I highly recommend it. If you're looking for some options, I'll put a video up in the eye to show you how to do it using a company called MySoil. Moss loves to grow in acidic soil. Now you can counteract this acidity by raising the pH level within your soil. Now, there's a variety of products that you can use and the choice is up to you. But a good product that you can use is lime. Using lime products in your lawn will definitely raise the pH level within your soil. And if you want to know more details on how to use lime in your lawn, I'll put a video link in my description to Dadding All Day, and he just released a video on using lime products in your lawn. Another reason why you might have moss is that your lawn is uneven. Having an uneven lawn causes excess moisture to build up in the low spots. A good way to fix this problem is to level out your lawn. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Again, you're welcome. Simply throw down some topsoil to fill in all the low spots. Now, if you have a larger area, then you can use a leveling tool. If you want an idea on how to build one cheap, again, I'll put a video up in the eye where I show you how to build your own. Finally, the number one contributing factor to why and how moss grows in your lawn is due to shade. If you have areas in your lawn that have excess amount of shade throughout the day, you're gonna have moss. Shade equals moss. When you have a lot of, when you have a lot of, what's that, Mom Ouija? You want me to go outside? You know what? That's a great idea. Instead of talking about this over and over, let me take you outside to my backyard and I'll show you exactly the environment Moss loves to grow. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we're out here in my backyard. So let's talk about a few reasons why my backyard has a lot of moss on this side of the yard. So you can see all the trees right here. Um, the dense trees, the sun can't come through. So this side of the yard is almost always in shade throughout the day. It doesn't have a lot of sunlight to come through. So that's uh, contributor number one is shade. Um, shade equals moss. 
So with a lot of shade on this side of the yard, um, this side of the yard stays damp. Uh, excessive moisture um, can contribute to uh, a lot of moss in your yard. But you can also see, got a lot of bare ground back here. So on the bare ground, um, plus the moisture, plus the shade, um, moss, it's a perfect environment for moss to grow. Um, so what you would want to do is you can rake the moss out, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, you can um, treat it with some products. I'll show you a product that I have and I'll try to put a link in the description below. Um, another thing you want to try to do is once all the moss is out of your yard, um, to prevent it from coming back, you want to fertilize, overseed and thicken up your yard. If your yard is all grass, then the moss has nowhere to grow. So shade, excess moisture, lots of room for the moss to grow. That is why you have moss in your yard. Now, some of you might be saying to yourself after seeing my backyard, that's exactly what my yard looks like. Well, understand you're not alone. Now that we know how and why moss grows in our yard, now it's time to treat it and take control of it. So when it comes to treating and taking control of the moss in your lawn, there's really only three steps you need to do. Depending on how much moss you have in your lawn, you can go out there with a rake and rake the moss up. But you're going to want to keep in mind, the way moss grows is by spreading its spores. So after you do rake it out, make sure you put it in a bag and get rid of it. Another way to treat the moss in your lawn is with a moss killer. Now they have both granular and liquid forms. I'll link some products down in the description below. But the product that I'm going to use today is called Masso. So here's the product that I had mentioned earlier. The product that I'll be using today is called Masso. Now Masso has a little bit of nitrogen in it. It has a little bit of iron. So it will help keep your lawn nice and green. But the main ingredient in Masso is ferrous sulfate. There's 18.6%. This is what kills the moss. Moss Out comes in both granular and liquid form, and I'll put a link down in the description for both those products. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to pay attention, so listen closely. The biggest and most important step in treating and taking control of moss in your lawn doesn't end by putting down a product and simply raking it out. Now that the moss is gone, you don't want it to come back, right? As you saw in my backyard, I got a lot of bare spots. That's the perfect environment for moss to grow and to spread. A way to stop it is to simply overseed and fertilize your lawn. When we overseed and fertilize our lawn, it helps thicken that lawn up. So the moss has nowhere to grow. Now we know why moss grows, now we know how moss grows, and we know how to treat it and take control of it. But knowing is only half the battle. So let's get outside and take control of that moss.
All right, now you can see this is 24 hours later. This is near the back of my backyard. Um, and we'll see right here. And we'll get a little close up here. You can already see it starting to turn brown. You can already see it starting to die off. Okay, you can see right here, we raked a lot of it out. Okay, I'll show you a couple other spots here. You can see down here some of the bigger spots. You can see how brown it's turned now. Uh, this is just one application. Um, and what you would do from this point out, you can either rake that out or you can sit there and just overseed, um, fertilize. Once the grass starts to fill in it'll just naturally choke this uh, moss out so that's it guys you can see a couple more spots right here you can see it turning brown okay that's a product called moss out all right guys so that's going to do it for this video on how to treat and take control of the lawn moss in your yard I hope you can use this information to help identify any moss in your yard. No, no, that's not what I want to say. What I really want to say is, I hope you can use this information to help identify, attack, and destroy that lawn moss in your yard so it stops attacking your grass. Now, if you want to see more lawn care videos like this one here, then check out this playlist where I show you some lawn care equipment that you'll need and some steps that you need to take to get your lawn ready for spring. Or check out this video here where I show you a sprinkler system that you can build to help keep your lawn green all summer long. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to leave a like on this video and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any upcoming content. Be safe everyone and enjoy your day in the lawn.